Okay, good morning everybody. How are you doing today? And let's hop straight in, shall we? I have 28 days of old school RuneScape membership remaining. Alright, I guess it will be 27 in a moment. This is my third day. Alright, so here we are in Val Valador. Last time around, well, I did a whole bunch of wood cutting and fire making. Killed a tree spirit and then discovered that for the current quest I am doing, Lost City, I now need to have my crafting at level 31. Yay! So that means I need to do yet more skill grinding. But that does mean that after this, hopefully, we'll finally be able to access that darn city. So to do this, we're going to need to get some leather. Since last time it was suggested to me that rather than just mining gold and making gold rings for my crafting skill, I can use leather instead to... And actually, that would be quite useful since I can make some stuff now. Leather van braces and some leather bodies. So, with that in mind, I am going to go and do something that I've not done for a very long time. Sort of like a mini callback to the very first stream I did of this. We are going to kill some cows. And also, if possible, find somewhere to get, gain my prayer back. But mainly, I'm going to kill some cows. Lots and lots of cows, because we need the leather. And then I need to figure out how to actually uh, use it. How to tan it and so forth. To make what we need. So... The best place to go for all things agricultural. Hmm. Some slightly different music was playing there. And it stopped. So, I... The best place to go for all things agricultural. This area. Just need to find the cow fields. We don't want chickens, we don't want wheat, we want some weather, we want it neat. And here we are. Again. I mean, we have been here previously, but that was just to get some milk. <laughs> always across those gates. And now, cows, it is dying time. My apologies for killing some of the population, but we need their cowhide. And we'll just, this shouldn't take too long though, since we are way more equipped to deal with a cow, you might suspect. We don't need the raw beef though, we just want the cowhide and also the bones I guess too. Hmm, it's the first two items that were picked up. I'll just pick them up automatically then. And this poor farm is going to start to notice a slight drop in his cow population. Let's hope he doesn't get angry. That would be terrible. So as you can see with cowhide, I can take it to a tannery. And it will become leather. And then I can use that leather to craft armor. The only problem is I don't know where the tannery is. But I imagine we might be in the right area. Possibly. Keeping those goblins out as well. As far as has got enough to deal with. Doesn't need any goblins running rampant on his land. So we're going to max out on cow hides. And then we're going to see where this tannery is. Because this is the price I pay for not focusing on my crafting. Earlier. I pay the price now, which is fine, happy to do that, 
At least cows are not really much of a threat. Although that one did smell nice to hit me. Do not try this in real life. Do not go up to a random farm and start killing cows. You might uh, find yourself in some trouble. Also, real cows are probably a little tougher than these ones. One would suspect. We have no use for the raw beef. I mean, it's a good food source early on, but we're far past using raw beef. As you can see, cows pretty much always drop the same three things. Cowhide, bones, and raw beef. So, it's pretty easy. I mean, to be fair, as I, these, the cow was the first thing I attacked when I started this character. Back in the very first stream. First thing I beat up on was some cows. Oh, it might have been a chicken, but I think we killed a cow in the first stream, if I remember correctly. So, these are the kind of things you'd want to beat up on when you're a beginner player, just to get some combat levels. Although goblins are a bit more attractive, because they drop some stuff, but... Hey, whatever it takes to level up. And no one is around here whatsoever. Not a single soul could be found. Boo. And yes, I am putting on a member server still, so. Let's do this for a bit. Oh, actually about to gain attack level. Excellent. Gotta catch up with my strength and uh, defense, after all. Bovine butchering. Oh, maybe I'll gain a prayer level as well. And I'm attack level 41. Oh. Hmm. And I've actually gained a combat level for that. I've gained... Uh, I'm now up to... Oh no, I killed a calf. I'll be damned now. So I'm now level 53, combat-wise. Or 53.125 to be precise. Also, I'm not doing the cow population any good by killing the uh, calves there. I kind of need to leave them alone. Because I'm killing the various mummies and daddies. All for the sake of the leather. I think an imp just decided to teleport of its own accord there. For some reason. Even though there's no one around but me. There is but me in this area. Moo. I'll moo right back at you. <laughs> Alright, we're almost done with the 28 hides. And I'm... No idea where I'm going to find the tannery. Hmm. I'm sure it's, it's probably in the area somewhere, but I've never been to it. Or if I have, I really do not remember. Definitely hitting for these guys for seven now, which is pretty sweet. My power increases. Alright, last cow. Alright, take the bones first so we can bury them. Oh, okay, not the last cow. The second to last cow. Now this is the last cow cow. Alright, time to go. <sighs> oh 
Okay, well, that's the cow I acquired. Now I just need to figure out where the tannery is. And I have no idea where the tannery is at all. Fuck. I seriously have no idea where the tannery is. I am completely bowed. Oh, I have no idea where the tannery is at all. Fuck. I am seriously stumped as to where the tannery is in this game. I don't think I've ever been to it. It's not... It doesn't appear to be in the farming area. They have a mill. A, but I don't think they have a tannery. I said... No, that's just an upstairs pole, so I don't think that's the tannery. Shit. I don't know where the tannery is. a bit troublesome. Well, while I'm figuring out nothing, I might as well get my prayer back. While I'm in the area. Well, prayer I lost from entering the cave of the drama tree. And for some reason I can't enter here. Oh. Oh, hey! Someone is inside here. But they're splashing too. Alright, let's get our... There we go. Now, who is this guy? Haters Cosinatus. Hang on a minute. Taskmaster. Good day. Who are you? I am Haters Cosinatus, the Taskmaster for the Lovebridge and Draenor Achievement Diary. What is the Achievement Diary? It's a diary that helps you keep track of particular achievements. In a Lombridge and Draenor area, it can help you discover some quite useful things. Eventually, with enough exploration, the inhabitants will reward you. You can see the list of tasks on the side panel. I have a question about the achievement diary. What are the rewards? Well, there are four different explorers' rings, which match up with the four levels of difficulty. Each has the same rewards as the previous level and some additional benefits too. Which tier of rewards would you like to know more about? The easy rewards, please. If you complete all the TC tasks in Bridge and Draenor, your ring could recharge half of your run energy twice per day and can cast Wonderful Alchemy without runes 30 times per day. That sounds pretty useful. Hot oh, damn. Thanks. So wait, a ring? I get like a ring? Okay, that does sound pretty cool actually. We get a, a ring that will allow us to recharge our run energy and cast World of Alchemy. Alright. Huh. Maybe I will do these achievement diaries at some point. Sound pretty handy. But right now, I need to find a bloody tannery. Hmm. I'll see if Shiny Dragon can give me some assistance as to locating the tannery. Because I have no idea what this tannery is, honestly.
the free to play one, as I have to now call it. It could be around here, but I, I don't know where. In our career, the minimap marks it with a brown t shirt. Oh, right, yeah, there it is. Thank you. So it's in Alcared. Oh, God, we have to go way over there, huh? All right, then. Let's go. Well, thanks to Shiny Dragon's help, we now know where the tannery is. In Alcared. Oh, man. Gotta go all the way over there. At least, thankfully, thanks to doing the, um, the Prince's Alley Rescue, we can at least use the toll booth for free. So it's a good thing we did that, huh? Therefore saving us on having to carry 10 coins or take the wrong way around each time. Oh, right, I should probably kill the cows in this field if Alcared is the tannery location. In fact, I think I will. Hey, there's somebody here. <laughs> Level 40. Must be after something specific. Alright, let's go. Can I come through this gate? You may pass for free. You're a friend of Alcared. I'm probably pronouncing that slightly wrong, but whatever. Right. Let's see how much crafting experience the weather gets me. Shall I? Well, that's not too bad at all, actually. The tannery is right close to where the... Um... Okay, so... Greetings, friend. I am a manufacturer of leather. I see you have bought me some hides. Would you like me to tan them for you? Yes, please. Oh, what? I need to pay money for this privilege? Shit. I don't know what kind of weather I want either, for that matter. Soft weather, hard weather, snake skin, green dragon eye, various hides. Oh, I can't actually tan them myself. I have to um, get someone else to... I have to pay someone else to do it. Oh, uh, that's a little disappointing, but... Alright. I better make sure I get the right kind of weather as well. I'm going to imagine it's probably soft weather for what I'm doing at the moment. I guess. Don't mind the hides in here. And I'm gonna take some. Yeah, whatever. 30,000 coins. There. <laughs> so we're always gonna have to pay the guy, so. Alright. I imagine I need to make soft weather because I'm not making anything too fancy at the moment. Well, anyway, let's talk to the guy. Okay, so hard wet, soft weather it is. Uh, I think I'm going to need to do that for all of them. Thank you for that. Now, okay, so I now have the soft weather. So now, how do I make? them into boots and shit. I'm guessing I'll need a different person for this. Hmm. How do I now get them into fucking... 
food. Crafting shop. I didn't gain any crafting experience, but I sure lost a lot of money. <laughs> well, not really. I lost, like, 27 coins. It's not much of a big deal for me. But shit, I need to... I need to find a... How on earth do I turn these into boots and things? Huh. Would you like to buy some crafting equipment? So you've got... Oh, this guy's going to be useful. He's got all the molds I need. Thread, needle, holy mold, sickle mold, tiara mold, bolt mold, bracelet mold. Hmm. I think while we're here, I might as well buy some stuff off this guy so I have all the molds too. So I can use them for future crafting purposes. But I'm kind of shit out of luck here. I don't know what to do with these leathers. And no, I don't know what to do in real life with them because I'm not well versed on the crafting and real life bit. I think what we'll do while we're here Right, while we're here we might as well get some of those molds And now I need to figure out how I'm going to Let's just get this tight first Alright, so there we got the soft leather. And I need to make it into boots and stuff, but how? So I need to figure out. Alright, ring mode. One necklace mode costs five coins, so I'll buy that. One amulet mode costs five coins, so I'll buy that. What the heck, I'll buy more. Holy mode? Sure, whatever. I'll buy two of those. Sickle mode. Fine, buy some of them too. Tiara mode. 100 coins? Alright, buy those as well. Bolt mode. Buy two of those, and a bracelet mode. Buy two of those, also. I think I have a chisel. I don't think I have a needle, though. So I'll buy a needle. And... Yeah, just give me all the fucking thread. Give me it all. All of it. Give me the thread! Give me the thread! There we go. Hey, Bofers, try the needle on the lever. Usually you put an, use an O, but I don't know if it's in RuneScape. Oh yeah, needle, that's a good idea, Bofers. Also, how are you doing? You're the first person to speak in the chat this stream in 24 minutes. But yes, I'm doing some crafting to get my way towards the Lost City. And I've conveniently come across well, I was told where the tannery is, and I found a perfect shop to buy a whole bunch of useful things for later. So this has been very uh, useful for me. So I now have all the modes that I need. Necklace modes, amulet modes, holy modes, sickle modes, tiara modes, boat modes, and bracelet modes. This is... Oh, no, Fred's actually not... It's going to count as a crafting aid, isn't it? So put it there. All right, cool. Okay, let's just draw the needle for a second. And let's get all the leather out that we can. Nice. Right, then let's see if the needle will work. Oh, come on, I need some thread also. God damn it. All right, fine. I guess we do need the thread also. 
guess we're going to be spending lots of money here. Okay. Now, let's make something. Alright, there we go. Needle, thread, leather. And this is the place to buy more thread. Got it. How many do I want to make? Choose a quantity, then quick item to begin. Well, the highest thing I can make at the moment is weather van braces, so... Ding! Level 13! Members can now cut jade and craft jade rings. Nice. Yeah, I can only make leather um, van braces, but in a little time I can make a leather body. That's nice. Hello, Dave the Doing. How you doing? So, just make all the van braces. I'm only doing this so I can get my level up. But, to be fair, I'm not complaining about having van braces. Use up one of my reels. Alright. Alright, this is pretty cool. I get 22 and it doesn't actually take as much time as the mining. I just need to... Keep going. Oh, level 14. I can now make leather armor and I can make some hats if I wanted to do that. Right, make some bodies. Let's go. Yeah. I'm good, thanks. Yourself? I'm doing all right. I had a good day yesterday. I came third in poker, did some good exercise, and I'm up right on time, ready to do some of this. All right, so this is what I'm going to be doing for forever. But hey, now I have plenty of weather supplies, which is good. I've got a shit ton of fan braces and a shit ton of bodies. So now I need to deposit the needle. And the thread. Actually, no, I need to make needles up as well. What was I? Stop. Ugh. Give me a needle and thread. Okay. Yes, I am a member, Dave. This is my third day of membership. I am crafting all 50. I can make snail shell helmets, snail helps, crab shell armor, and oak bird houses. That's very nice. This stuff I'm sure will be useful at some point later. All right, now we've got all those. And now we just make these forever. Yep, third day of membership, and third day I am still doing the Lost City quest. The first day I spent figuring out I couldn't immediately get the, the tree branch I needed because my woodcutting level wasn't high enough. On the second day, I got my woodcutting level high enough, but then my crafting level wasn't high enough to actually make the staff. And now on the third day, I'm hopefully going to actually get myself to 31 crafting so I can actually make the damn staff so I can complete one quest and access a pretty cool area, apparently. And then I think we have some business to do. Oh yes, we have business. The reason I have 30,000 coins is because I need to pay for each tanner. But thankfully it seems Fred doesn't, is a, is a one to one ratio. It's about three or four to one or whatever. And I now know how to use the weather system of the game. Great, yes, I'm learning so much about the crafting system. I may be able to use it for something, well, not saying that this isn't useful, of course. I mean, eventually be able to make dragon hide, but I guess I'll need to kill dragons to get it. Yeah. So now we kill some more cows. Back to the cow slaughter. So we can get more hides. If you do not like cows, it's a good stream for you. If you if a cow ever trampled over your grass or bullied you when you were passing a farm one time, this is the stream for you. Plenty of cows are going to be killed. And now, in even more of a callback to the first stream, I did on this, I'm in the same field. You're going to make some breakfast of early ones. Be right back. Alright. Cool, man. 
I am thinking of spending a significant portion of time in that mother world mine, honestly, after this. Because I need to get I need to start the golden nugget pursuit. Because of some pretty cool stuff that it's gonna get me. Not at least that coal bag. So there's a good chance that I may spend a couple of streams. I don't think all at once though. But I'm definitely gonna have like a entire stuff where I just sit in the mother world mine for three hours and get as much nuggets as I can. As well as raising my mining level. Something I am considering anyway. Although granted if I want to do my smithing I need to get iron. So I'm not so sure. Hmm. I think I might try to get level 60 mining so I can get to the mining guild. Let's see what they have. Because although the mother world mine does seem useful for various things, it is also random chance. And around here it's very quiet, compared to the free world where this is quite a busy area. In members world it's like, where's all the players? They're all gone. And this is the busiest uh, UK member server, so obviously it's amazing to see the difference in between the worlds. The only thing I haven't seen is this blast furnace yet. I saw there was a blast furnace, and I guess it's somewhere else. Hmm. Well, I've got plenty of time to do all the exploring of all the extra content. The first thing I need to do is get this crafting level up as quickly as possible. It's a shame I can't carry cowhide in a bag of some sort either. But that coal bag will definitely be useful because if I'm not mistaken, the coal bag will basically act as like an extra inventory thing, but just for coal. Now, since we need a shit ton of coal to make smelting, well, if I'm right, that means if we have the coal bag on us, now, whether we can equip the coal bag on our back or whether it just counts as an inventory swap, what it will basically mean, potentially in theory, is that instead of being able to smith um, only a few ores, um, bars at a time, I should be able to make 27 because all the coal will be in the bag and then all I have to do is just have the other material. So that'll be really useful actually, if that is what it actually does. So that's the first thing I would, I think we will be doing some unlocks in the mother world. We will be getting the, um, that. Then we will get access to the upstairs area. And then after that, I will, f I will work on getting the prospector set. Because I fear that for the mining grind much later on, I'm going to need that 2.5% mining experience advantage that the set gives. But we can slowly work towards that. I mean, to be fair, now that, I'm, now that I'm going to be a member, there's going to be lots more parts. It's not going to be like it, it took 38 parts to get to members. It's probably going to take at least 10 times as much of that to complete everything. I mean, I, I could easily see this if I continue with it. Hitting at least a thousand parts in the future. Such as the long term nature of it. But. Time will tell. Right now, I need to think of the immediate short term. That is, get hides, level crafting, complete lost city quests at the third stream of asking. Oh, and kill lots of cows. Fuck the cows! Get on my burgers already! And then go slightly insane. <laughs> Not far off the next prayer level. I think. How 
fall off it now. 268. Yep, I should be triggering that prayer level shortly. I'll go any time soon. Walk, walk. Okay, one more cow and it's back to the tannery. Oh shit, I need to hold on, so I need to pick up the bones first. There we go. Alright. We're done killing cows for now. Now let's go to Balcarid. There's Dewey Groats, one of the recipients of the Christmas quests. Moo! Moo! <laughs> oh man. Without any prayers to kill all these goblins, they're running rampant all over that house of the wizard they killed. Maybe Ham should do something about those guys, eh? Yeah, 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 okay, thank you. I'm a friend of Alcarag, I know. I helped you, Emir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shame there's not a way to do this without having to pay this guy. Alright. Let's tan all of them. Yeehaw. Thank you. Now we need to do some awkward... Not really awkward, this is the easier part. So I can just do it right next to the bank. Glowing light of justice. Alright, Needle. Make some bodies for me. That's it. Yes. 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 Keep going. Get that level up. There it is, 16. I can now craft holy symbols of Saradomin. I can also cut red topaz, craft for dead topaz rings, and an opal necklace. Ooh, how fancy. Alright. Well, keep making the bodies. We'll eventually be able to make chaps. At some point. Oh, it's got a nice animation there as well. How cool is that? Alright, bank all those. Alright. 17! Now I can craft unholy symbols of Zamorak and Lerican robes. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Another body, please. Lovely. Don't pull these. And there's those branches we can see as well. So now it's back to killing more cows. So, let's see, level 18 I can make the chaps. And I can make a hard weather body at 28. Nice. So I can actually get a slightly better body equipment using hard weather, which I guess is the next tier of upgrades. So this is kind of what I'll probably be mainly using it for, to craft leather or ranged upgrades, but I'm sure crafting will definitely be used a shit ton in members. 
kind of wish you could just skip that dialogue after a while, but whatever. Right, back to the cow killing. Again. And we will continue to do this, and that should probably won't take all that long if I'm quick about it. Whoa, dragon imp wing. Uh, don't need those squares, thank you. Those squares look rather annoying. I mean, I guess that's Hunter. Yeah, I don't want that either. Thank you very much. Game. Oh, wow. There is a new player here. And hey, there's two players have shown up since I came back. <laughs> wow. All right. So I guess there are some members using this for practicing as well. Oh, perhaps they're just going for hides like I am. Since it's the closest area. Die, youngling. Die. Population control, go! I'm still not sure what direction I'm going to head in once I actually get the, um, so I finish with this. I might wander off to the west, maybe, or to the east. I'm not sure. There's a lot more to the west, that's for sure, than there is to the east. But... I really mean, kind of want to. I kind of really do want to get the Mithril thing done at some point. But perhaps I should hold off on that for a little while. Maybe. Well, I'll have to make a decision at some point. I know I want to spend at least one stream in the Mother World Mine. At some point. <laughs> I know that much. And I'll probably spend quite a bit of time there eventually. Oh god! I don't want these fucking Impwing markers. Oh, it won't be Hunter, it's the Impwings, isn't it? I don't want that. You can keep the Hunter thing. Thank you. I don't want. I don't want the stupid, weird red things. I worry about that when I'm actually doing some hunting, which I'm not doing. I'm only doing Slayer at the moment. I do have a Slayer, don't I? Yeah, I do have the Slayer thing, which is to kill eighty-two crocodiles at some point. Whenever I find said crocodiles is another matter. I think you can hide loot you don't want to see. I'm not bothered about hiding the 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 dropped items. I actually like that feature. That's a nice little thing for me. I'm gonna keep the ground names on. I imagine you could, yeah. So I wonder what crafting the holy symbols of Saradomin and Zamora give. I'm guessing they give prayer bonuses of some description, but I wonder what the difference is between wearing the one of the, the good god and the evil one. And welcome. You can also highlight certain items for the appearance of purple. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, I'm sure as I continue through this, I will probably be tinkering with Runewright a lot. But it's nice to have the choice. 
And it's also nice that you don't have to have it swamp your screen full of stats and stuff. But no doubt, like, in 200, 300 parts later, I'll be there with every stat thing going, uh, uh, Gotta achieve maximum mining efficiency! I'm only at 2.5! <laughs> I joke about this now, but I may get it, I may end up that way one time. Oh, the Freaky Forester. No. No. Your minigame is not great, and also, I'm not in the mood. I need... I just focus on my task. My task to cleanse the cow population. Yeah, I'm not in the mood, exactly. I want to get this crafting done. I'm worrying about crafting along the way, but I want to get to level 31. That's all I want to do. Then I can get back to doing other stuff. Right. Well, exploring the rest of the game and figuring out where the hell I'm going to start. Well, actually, I already have started. I think I want to continue this little particular adventure. Kill these cows off, I could probably kill a few in a row if I wanted to. Oh, come on, you can kill this cow. Murder it. There you go. That's the spirit. I think one thing I will have to start doing is when we get to the prayers of protection, I'm going to have to practice the art of uh, prayer ticking to prevent wastage. Only one remain more cow to butcher. No, you're dead. Back we go. Yeah, I'm gonna get that pro level up at least. But I won't have to worry about that for a little bit. Um, I need to get to 43 before I start using the protection stuff, really. Damn it, I wanna... Ah, let's leave it open, who cares. Okay, go, go, go. Gold bracelet will be quicker to get your crafting up at this point, and you can get mining up too. Gold bracelet. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I suppose I could do that. I'll also go back to Vimington now. Do some world jumping. But thank you for that, Belfers. So now it's time to. At least I know how to make some weather if I need it. I'll probably do some of this later when I'm training ranged a bit more. Alright, dude. Let's make all the weather. Thank you very much. And yeah, I did need some gold bridges, so I'm going to, have to enchant them at some point. Because I could wear a, a chanted... Well, there's these amulets, obviously, but I've got rings I could wear. I've not even worn a ring, single ring, since I started this. Alright, Needle. Make me some leather bodies. Yeah, 
Sit. I am now boy D. I can make some leather chaps. I'm gonna make all of them. Yeah. Oh yes. Leather chaps. Yes indeedy. Alright. We got a shit ton of leather chaps now. For our range collection. We have green dragon hide chaps, but we were gifted those. Why are the boots here? Oh, I guess they are technically a ranged item, aren't they? Alright, well, since we're going to be going, um... Full mining, I might as well take all this off, because I'm not going to need any of it. I just need my pickaxe. Huh. Oh, I've no gold, have I? Alright, off to Rivington we go. Got 18. Can I actually just check if I can actually make the necklaces? Oh yeah, I can. Wait, bracelets, 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 bracelets. Uh, I can't make... Oh, I can make gold bracelets. Okay. That works, then. Yeah. And thankfully, I've already bought all the, um... Molds, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going full naked because it allows me to, uh, run quicker. <laughs> Without... Right. Off to Rivington we go. The faster I get that crafting up, the faster I can be done. Thankfully, last time I learned how to use the gold uh, stuff properly, so. Kind of glad for this quest, actually. Although, obviously, the purpose was to get me to a new area, it has taught me two different crafting trees and how to pursue them. Which I previously did not know about. I might as well burn all my stamina here, uh, energy here because I'm going to be sat world switching for a bit. With that in mind, I'm going to pop up the world menu, get it ready. Barbarian Assault, Winter Tot, what's all this extra stuff? There must be like events tied to servers or something, I am assuming. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Come on, you can make it a little further. Oh, you went out of energy. Damn it. Oh well, we made it pretty much there anyway. <laughs> I gotta wait 12 minutes to get my energy back. I would not lie if I can say that. I look forward to seeing that reduced over time. I do like how seamless the transition is with the, you know, the, it scales to the UI at this point, which is pretty nice. And once again, Rivington mining area is quiet as fuck. This means this gold is mine! Oh mine! So let's get to it. Okay, and switch. There we go.
So we've gone from killing cows to mining rocks again. Anytime. Anytime now. Anytime. Just, just feel free to mine the gold. Anytime. Okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, thank you. That took forever. That took so long. There's also a PvP world, which I guess is unlimited PvP. Surprisingly, they're not very popular. I, I'm, I'm, I'm being sarcastic. They're not popular because, honestly, the PvP in this game is... At an individual basis, is probably not the best, but... Group-wise, it's probably pretty sweet. But I'm not really an advocate. I'm... Dude, I will not be keen on the PvP side of this game. <laughs> Unless I absolutely have to. I'm going to avoid PvP as much as possible. I'm willing to bet the golds have respawned in World 302 now. Yeah, it took me so long to mine that one rock, but they've regenerated. But you're alright, this will get my uh, mining up and my smithing too, a little bit. So that's useful. I would like to know what some of these activities are, though. LMS. So escape cutting, bounty world, volcanic mind, winter tot, barbarian assault. Trouble brewing. Yeah, I am. I suck at BVP to begin with, so. The last thing I need to be doing is engaging in it. <laughs> Alright, hopping to world 310. There we go. It's nice that the world transition's pretty quick. That's it. Get the gold. You get the gold. Come on. Come on. Come on, Rev P. Hit the rock. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. You got it. Man, I'm using the best pickaxe because I'm still struggling to mine gold fast all the time. Guess that only happen when I get to a much higher level. The funny thing is, is that I used to be a big PvP. I used to enjoy PvP about 10 years ago. Even though I was bad at it back then as well, but I used to relish the thought of it. I mean, I used to fall. I don't know if you've heard, I'm, I'm guessing none of you might have heard of this game, but there's a game called, which I believe is still around in a different form, a game called Dark Fall Online. And I was actually a, uh, I actually got into the closed beta of that, which was really a big deal for me. Because I actually had to sign an NDA. <laughs> no kidding. I had to actually print off a copy of the NDA and scan it and send it back to them. You played the hell out of that game. I followed that game for about two and a half years. Hyperion Alliance. Hearing the lines. That does ring a bell with me, funnily enough. 
Hyperion Alliance was, um, what was it? I'm trying to remember. I, I definitely remember that name. They were, that was like the dwarves and humans and elves side because the fucking races were weird in Dark Fall. You had six races and like they put three in one sort of group and then two in another and then one on their own. It was very bizarre. The dog race. Yeah, I was... I was the Marin. That was the dog race. They were fucking giants. It was it, 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 it was pretty cool, actually. Because if you play as another race and you stand next to the Marin, which are like these werewolf type things, they were fucking massive. You really felt how small you were compared to them. They had a very weird sizing thing going on. Where like if you played from another perspective... You, they they towered over you like giants. It was ridiculous, but an interesting detail. Yeah, I was part of the... What was it called? Uh, fuck, I forgot the name. Black Knight Brotherhood, was it? And we had this little fort... And it was so weird. I th yeah, that was it. The Black Knight Brotherhood I was part of. And unfortunately, I didn't do that much because... <laughs> but yeah, I followed the game for two and a half years. Oh, I'm actually four upon gold. Okay. Uh, I guess then it's time to... Uh, what the hell is LMS Comparative? I don't know. I'm just going to play it safe and switch to 302. <laughs> but yeah, I fought it for two and a half years and I played it for about three months and quit. Now, to be fair, what didn't help me was that when I entered the one and only siege I was ever part of, my computer could not handle it at all. Like I had, sh I I had shit FPS. But one thing I certainly do remember is I managed to get behind the back line of a whole bunch of mages, and I swear to God, if my computer wasn't a complete piece of shit, yeah, it really was. Like you had hundreds of people, people would sneak attack you. You had massive raids, you know. And people doing stuff was pretty... Well, that was just a rip-off of Ark, isn't it? Anyway, time to go melt these down and make some... ...bracers with them. But yeah, Dolph Online was pretty sweet, but my computer sucked at running it. <laughs> but it was a great game, and I used to love the idea of the full loop PvP. It meant like going out to get resources could be risky because some players could show up and decide to attack you. But I couldn't handle the sort of getting killed part, so I didn't last that one. But to be fair, my computer couldn't run the game either during siege battles. It could run it now, no problem nowadays, but it was a pretty bold game. But I kind of liked it for what it tried to do. It's kind of a shame I just never really had the computer to be able to handle it. I mean, if I played it nowadays, it would be great, but nah, I, I don't have the patience for that kind of thing nowadays because you gotta be like really. Well, my mindset's different now, but some pretty good shit.
It was almost kind of like RuneScape. Except with PvP in a first person, tight third person perspective. It's just a shame it didn't do too well. Although, I think it's still around now. I think it is still around though. It changed its names to something else. And then, uh, I think it has a very small community of people that still play it, but... Eh, it was a big deal for about a year with its scale. You played two years ago and still had fun. Okay, it's the bracelet you said, didn't you? The gold bracelet you suggested was a good way of getting the level up. You played it two years ago and you still had fun. Yeah... I would not be able to play that kind of game nowadays, unfortunately. I've lost the blood lost for wanting to kill people, really. In like that kind of environment where you lose everything you've worked for, I just don't have the time for it anymore. But, you know. Aha, let's make all the gold bracelets. 25. Oh. It's the same as uh, the weather, but I think. Ah, oh, whatever. Crafting level 90! That can make plant pots and spin magic tree roots into magic strings. Alright, whatever. In the end, you build up huge stockpiles of good gear, so you don't mind wasting stuff if you're good. Yeah, that's the thing, though. I'd have to invest the time into that. It's all different now for me nowadays, I mean. But you know, I contend it is one of the best games I've played even though I didn't do much in it. It had a unique charm and atmosphere. But games like that nowadays just don't sell. Hey, I can wear the gold bracelets. <laughs> Alright, go. Oh, the gold bracelet comes on my arm, does it? Alright, the bracelet's the glove slot. Huh. Well, I guess these bracelets will be useful for enchanting. Well, pff, now I need to get back to the. What's that even again? It was the gold rings, wasn't it? Manny, I put the gold rings here, so. Uh, I'm not so sure what to do with these rings. These are all like reagents of something else. Hmm. They're like crafting reagents, aren't they? Actually, I don't know what I'll do. These are technically crafting reagents. All of them are. So I'm gonna dump them all there. I'm gonna chuck all these bracelets here too. Yeah, that's the idea, but it's also build up your piles and stuff. Oh man, 19. Well, I'm about to hit 20. But yeah, those are the days when I was a PvP hound. Now I'm not really a big fan of the PvP stuff. I mean, I played PUBG, sure, but I'm more interested in cooperation and stuff like that than I am with PvP kind of things. Level 20! I can cut sapphires and craft sapphire rings. Nice. And I have now hit a total level of 575. And to make this less frustrating in the future, 
Why are you sure there's not something else I could be making with this? It's a little higher. Let me check my list. I could make an amulet. Does that not give me a bit more experience since it's a level up? I mean, I could make an amulet. I think I only have so many sapphires, you see, so... I'll make some amulets next. See how that does, because I've got a lot of bracelets to enchant now. Now I just need the amulets. <laughs> so I'm going to dump these, and I'm going to take an amulet out. Yeah. Alright, let's go mine some gold. I guess to save a bit of time, I'll... Uh... I'll mine 27. I can run. So let's run. Forest, run. I still remember the time that I dueled a Lords of Death member in the uh, Marim capital. And I nearly beat him. Despite the fact I was fully naked and was using a pole arm. I almost killed him. And Wars of Death... Oh, I've overshot the target. Whoops. And Wars of Death were like considered one of the best PvP groups of the time. They just kind of... Did their own little thing and didn't care much for anything else. They're like mercs or something. But that's the kind of interaction you don't get in a lot of games nowadays. Games like Darkfall and Shadowbane used to have when that, when that was popular, you know. When players are fighting each other for territory and prizes, there's a lot more interesting interaction than just people raiding for a dungeon boss. It's just kind of missing in a lot of games nowadays. You don't have that sort of... I mean... Aside from, like, your own little clans, you don't have a lot of that sort of massive scale interaction. Because, you know, what's the point? Nowadays, you can data mine all the information you need. And everything you ever want is just within your own clan. You know, but wider scale is... It's lacking. In, um games, you know. Yeah, it really was a different time on the internet back in 10 years ago, you know. With stuff like that and the lobbies in my Xbox Live and stuff where people could trash talk all kinds of shit. And nowadays you're not really encouraged to do that because it's seen as bad. I mean, people said some dumb shit back then, but there was a lot more passion in that kind of thing nowadays that back then. Because you had to talk to other people, you know. You had... Party chats and clan chats and group chats weren't really encouraged as much. You had like, you could go into like a, I don't know, a, a, a Call of Duty 4 lobby and you'd have people calling you all sorts of names. It was very satisfying to plonk them in the head <laughs> with a sniper rifle or whatever. And nowadays people are like... Not as encouraged to have that sort of banter anymore as you once had. For better and for worse. Because even I took part in that kind of stuff when I was in 2007, when I was on Xbox Live. I didn't call anyone any racist stuff, mind you. Or anything like that. But I certainly had my banter with the players on the other team. If they started talking the smack, I talked it right back at them. 
So it was uh, fun times, really, if you sort of were smart enough about it. And people could write, take the punches back then. People weren't so sensitive in general. You know, you had plenty of scope to to, to act out your, your, your aggro losing in a video game, sort of. But now it's just all different. Makes you wonder if we'll get to a point one day where there will be completely no banter between people at all of that kind in any kind of PvP game. I suppose there's still live streaming to make up for it, but it does make you wonder sometimes. How far down the political correctness spectrum will we end up? The Dark Force still have a subscription, by the way. Oh god, he's struggling to hit the rock again. Oh no! I'm still going to hit the rock! Rev P, what are you doing to me? Gotta hit the rocks! Oh no, I found a sapphire. Oh wait, that's not a bad thing necessarily. Since I don't get what I need to I need to cut these gems. That's something I should be doing as well. I should be cutting all the uncut stuff I have. So I can turn it into usable shit. I need to find somewhere to cut these. I'm guessing I need to go to a jewel or something like that. Uh whoops, this is the wrong server. Ah eh, no one's here, I'll just mine anyway. Fuck it. This is a free serve, it's one of the quieter ones. So it's all good. Badoosh. I imagine I have to go to a jeweler's to cut these or something like it. That could get me some crafting points. Cutting the gems up. Alright. We're done for now. Towie ho! Towie ho indeed. I'm slightly curious actually. So the jewelers in Valley Door that I can test this theory out on. What is this here? Oh, that's just what quest it starts. <laughs> Recruitment drive. Hey, there's another quest in there I can take part in. Well, since I've seen it, I guess I'll have a peek at what it requires. Ah. I could do that, but I'd have to complete another quest as well. The Druidic Ritual Quest. This would be worth more cuts. Yes, I'm sure it would. 
Oh wow, that's interesting. The updated Twitch information not only shows when the account was created and when it was following your channel, but also when you were previously subbed, interestingly. Huh. Wait, it shows a lot more than that. What the hell? Sorry. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It even keeps track of how many messages you've sent in a chat, apparently. That's weird. It says, like, for Spinzig, you've cast 674 messages in the chat. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? What the, 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 uh. Go back. Okay. Yes, make the amulets. Make gold amulet you. Guess that means... Yeah, this gives me 30, so it's slightly more experience than the uh, bracelets. I'm your. Whatever gets me to that 31, I'll take it. Nice. 21! I can now weave sacks and craft silver crossbow bolts. Lovely. There we go. So it now even shows how many messages a person has said in the chat <laughs> when you click their details. That's a lot. It needs a string so I can wear it. Oh, right, okay. So I need string with this too. Hey, I can weave a sack. I don't know how I do that, though. Anyway. Alright, so deposit all these as well, because whatever. I have them. There they are. There. So, hmm. I need to get. Sorry. Oh, that's an enchanted gem. That's for Slayer. I need to put that in a different slot, honestly. That's not different. So, I need to get all these gems cut. The, uh, the emeralds, the rubies, the diamonds, and the sapphires. How do I get these cut, I wonder? I am slightly curious as to how I get these cut, to be honest. Oh, I still had two leather. <laughs> Might as well quickly make some, uh, some chaps while I'm here, just to... I wonder how, so I wonder how I get all these uh, emeralds cut. I might as well learn about that while I'm here. I imagine I would have to go to a jewelers or something and get them cut there, perhaps. 
I mean, I might as well, I might as well learn how to do this while I'm on this crafting kick as well. <laughs> might as well learn as much of the game as possible for the crafting element. So I'm going to get these uncut things from time to time. i got to figure out how to get them, like, cut so I can use them for stuff. I imagine I'd probably just pop into a jeweler's and use a device they have, maybe. Arguably, perhaps. That would be my guess, anyway. I'll explore the bloody Kebos Wallands when I feel like it. Ooh, a rival. Different music. Oh, I want to go in there. Ah, it is a jeweler. Hello there. Do you wish to trade? Why, yes, this is a jewel shop after all. Oh. Ball. Ah, uh, no, I guess that's not the idea. I had to find somewhere to cut these emeralds. Huh, I didn't know there was actually a gap in Thalador's defences there. Never bothered to repair that. In fact, oh, I need to roll five agility to even go over it, so that's not going to happen. Hmm. Use a chisel on them. Hello! Oh, maces. I'll be fine. Hey, fiddlebutts, and thank you for that. Use a chisel. How are you doing? Good sir, madam. Welcome to the crafting grind so I can do the Lost City quest. My first member's quest. The Lost City. I probably would have this quest done a long time ago, but I had to get my wood cutting up, and now I gotta get my crafting up. So I cut them with a chisel. I am learning things, you see? Another new learning experience thing. Now, luckily, I do have a chisel. Uh, I do have a chisel, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't drop the chisel! God damn it. Good for detailed crafting. Alright. No, oh, come on! I have to be a certain crafting level just to chisel certain things? I need 34 for rubies, 27 for... Oh, thank god I can cut something. Yes, I am a new player. At this point, all the stuff I have previous knowledge of is done. I am a member, but this is my third day of being a member ever. Okay, I cut the sapphire. Oh, wow. Whoa, I'm getting 50 XP a pop with these things. Shit, this is pretty good. I can now craft sapphire necklaces. And I can make some more tops if I wanted to. So I need to be 27 for these and... 34 for some else. I had more of these. I need, like, uncutting. Okay. Do it! This actually gives more experience than... Can I post a link? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. There we are. A whole bunch of cut ones. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to know that stuff. Thank you. I don't want to, I don't want to follow a wiki. So, emeralds are green and it, okay, so I guess it goes up in that kind of order or whatever. I see. Alright. No, I, I, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to become one of these super efficient players yet. Trust me, there will, there will come a point when I probably will, but right now I kind of want to avoid doing stuff like that. But thank you anyway. Alright, so I've 
cut all... At least I know how to cut the sapphires now. Right, I guess then back to the mining we go. I can all ask to make my stuff on this one. I could make some sapphire rings or necklaces. That would get me a big level chunk. Hmm. But I might need these sapphires for enchanting purposes. So I'm not so sure if I want to spend them just to get my level up. Oh, I can make a tiara in one level. Oh, it's so frustrating. All right, I'll just make some more gold shit for now. Or whatever. Oh, I'll just make a... Some more amulets. Alright, let's go. Yeah, that's the kind of approach I'm taking. Yeah, I. I'm kind of aware of the gem's scarcity. I mean, at some point, I figure I am going to end up needing some kind of efficient way of playing to get stuff. But that will come when I am, like, probably hitting, like, level 90 in a skill or something and need to maximize my XP gain. But, yeah, that's the idea. I mean, the only thing I have actually downloaded and not used yet... Uh, sorry, downloaded? I'm saying favorited is an optimal quest guide. Which I haven't looked at, but it's there just in case I need to figure out quest chains and stuff. Other than that, I am playing as a member for the first time. I'm experiencing a lot of things for the first time. And I don't want to, like, know the best way, necessarily. I just want to play and figure stuff out. Right, exactly. I mean, that's, the, that's what I want to do. Plus, this being a chill stream, well, it will be when I start working again, anyway... <laughs> Granted, I'm using Rune White, but Rune White has some nice conveniences. And I'm using it for the first time as well. Well, third. This is my third third membership stream. And I'm on bonds at the moment. I'm, I'm funding this with two bonds. So I need to make a decision after the bonds expire as to what I'm going to do after that. I might grind for money at some point so I can buy more bonds. <laughs> But I'm going to enjoy the game for the time being. That's the idea. Yeah. But thank you for your advice anyway, Fiddlebutts. I honestly did not spend a lot of time crafting in this game. And I did not know about the chiseling. Or how to make gold amulets or bracelets. Or how to use weather. I'm learning all these different interesting steps. <laughs> just for the sake of one quest. So... I'd sure like to know what some of these events are. Oh. Oh, no. Does that mean someone else is doing the world hopping as well? I have competition, apparently. I'd sure like to know what some of these activities are referring to, though. I am curious. Like, we've got Winter Tart, Barbarian Assault, LMS Comparative. I'm not quite sure what those, some of those are. Because I'm certainly getting a lot of players, uh, people in the chat who know this game like the back of their hand, and I don't. <laughs> I don't know this game at all like the back of their hand. I mean, I knew a lot of the free stuff, but we're past that point now. I've done all the free quests. All of them. So, there's nothing else for me here. Oh, crap. I'm on a free... Oops, I accidentally went to a free server. Eh, whatever. I'll just mine here anyway. No one seems to be mining gold. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for, fiddle butts. I'm going to enjoy the game as much as I can that people have experienced for years. Most of them are well staircased to certain activities, fun mini games or group skewing areas. Oh, I see. So it's nothing to massively worry about unless I join a PvP world, <laughs> which I'm not going to do. Uh, that sounds pretty good then. I guess if I want those specific activities, I will join those worlds then. 
trade members trade free all right well thank you for that winter top seems to be bought up there that's free servers here for it I placed it's 2006, but the developers are doing a good job of providing new content. Yeah, I've heard that a lot of a lot of the people who have played RuneScape in both here and the other community I'm part of have raved about the Farming Guild uh, and the Kebos Lowlands that were recently released. It does seem like Jagex are still providing new stuff for people. Oh gosh, I just realized that's the ping, not the population. So the PvP was of like 300 players in them. But yeah, it seems like they are providing new content and they've got a few areas of the map to fix as well. I mean, I remember when... Uh, I remember when this area was all black. This area was not in... was dark and now they filled it in. It looks like at some point they're also going to expand this area here around this desert. Looks like that's a possible spot for them to fill in because it looks a bit awkward otherwise. And looks like a little blank there. Maybe they'll chuck in some other stuff later. The positive is that JGX uses a polling system for most updates. That's why they went wrong in RS3. Though I didn't have icon in the community as such. Oh yeah, so a lot of people did not like RuneScape 3. To the point where this game was bought back. I mean for a couple of years you couldn't you couldn't play old school RuneScape unless you had a RuneScape 3 uh, account. Or subscription. You had to pay to play this and then they bought it back. Which was a I mean, look at the population. There's a lot of people playing this game. The old version. Which is pretty nice to see, really. Oh. Really hoping to... Even more in the evening. Yeah, I might like... I, I will not... Like, when I get a job again, I would probably not be... Uh, streaming at this time usually <laughs> but since i'm unemployed at the moment and looking for work and waiting to hear back from jobs and stuff i kind of have some a ludicrous amount of free time i mean this is not even the main thing i do on this channel i i also play a lot of uh doom wads and old school first person shooters oh i will be doing this year once i get around to them So, for me, this is just a long-term chill project. You know, when I don't want to play Doom, when I just want to relax a little bit, this is my game of choice. And surprisingly, it's grown on me pretty quickly. Oh, it appears we have just about done here. So I find this rock. That being said, although this is a long-term chill stream project, it has two goals in mind. Come on, mind the rock. The first goal is to get every skill to 99. And the second goal is to complete all the quests on here. Each and every one of them. I know I'm well aware this will take me several years, but those are my two goals. I figure by the time I've achieved both of them, I'll have seen everything the game has to offer. As I don't expect it'll be easy to get everything to 99 or do all the quests. And that's not counting the fact I might also do the achievement diaries as well, but. Now I've set out my stall. Quest and everything to 99. And then I finish my. and then I'm done. Although I feel that everything in between will be explored too. Just not the PvP's as much. 
not really a big fan of the PvP. Although I'm aware of the fact I'm going to have to possibly engage in a little bit of it to... The quest diamonds and diary requirements are good things to work towards. I mean, this is going to take me several years, you know. It's not something I'm going to rush out. There will be periods of time probably where I don't play this game for a bit. But... Little drabs and drabs here and there should aim me towards my goal. Ah, one day I'll be able to make Runite. One day. And you certainly were right about members, all you people. There's certainly a lot more to do as a member. And I think Quest Cake can be achieved in a year if you really prioritize it. Quest Cake. I don't really have a solid priority right now on what I want to aim towards. The only thing I kind of would like to do at some point once I secure a long-term membership is to try and get my smithing up to a good level. Like, I want to make adamant gear. That's one of my sort of medium-term goals. But I'm also curious to unlock some stuff from the Motherworld mine as well. Like the coal sack and the um, access to the upper area. I'm not really bored about the quest cape. <laughs> But for the moment, I'm just experiencing the new members stuff very slowly and enjoying the fact I'm a member and doing members stuff. Oh, I'll be right back, everyone. Okay, I'm back. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go for lunch now. Alright then, Fiddlebutts, thank you for popping on by, and I will see you around, maybe. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch. I need to get something to at some point. 23! I can now craft tiaras and sapphire bracelets. I'm not gonna lie, I think I will make some tiaras. Let's just make all these first though. I might make some amulets later. Or not. Who knows. So, now I'm gonna use tiaras, but I don't think I can make tiaras with gold, can I? And thank you for the follow fiddle butts as well. Much appreciated. Ah oh, man, I don't think I'm gonna make the level I need. I'm gonna cut it close, but I don't think I'm gonna hit 31 unless I get a big push somehow. I can make tiaras now, but how do I make tiaras? Because I have a feeling that tiaras are going to require a different material other than gold. Silver, perhaps? Maybe I have to grind some silver instead. I think I may have to look into that, unless someone knows. But I want to make some tiaras now. I got 50 still there. I was like, where is it? Tiara, 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 tiara. Ah, there it is. Tiara. Yeah, I've got the mold for tiaras, but now I need to figure out how to make them.
See if Shiny Dragon can help us once again. I imagine I probably have to use silver instead of gold, but I could be wrong. Oh, it is silver, okay. Ah, silver. Thanks. Alright, so silver, shit. I where have I seen silver before? I'm trying to think where I've actually seen silver. Silver, silver, silver. Where have I seen silver before? Hmm. I think there's some in the dwarf mines, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this should get me up. I need to make some tiaras for the um, t talisman stuff for the um, rune crafting. So I can make more sets. So I have one of each, but no one's going to have more. I won't be around here, I know that much. I. Let me just. No, 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 no. Prospect the rocks. Just, just, just... No, don't. don't... Don't! Oh, it's tin. Stop, stop, stop. That's tin. I don't want tin. I want silver. But I don't think there's any silver in this area. Let me just wide screen it for a second. I don't think there is any. Okay, zoom back. No. I need to find where the silver. I swear I've seen some, but I don't remember where. I don't think we're going to have to go through that. No, I need to be 42 to be able to do that. I can be in a bloody cave, though. Is that silver? Let's have a look. No, that's also tin. Drat. That's clay. And iron. Tin. You know what? There's a good chance I haven't actually seen silver before in this game. Ah, oh, shit. Then in that case, I have no idea where to get it from, then. Hmm. Gotta be some somewhere. I think this is just clay, is it? Yeah, that's just clay. We don't need clay. We need silver! And there isn't any to be had here, apparently. Nope. Nothing doing there. So, there's none in the Corbin mines. So, I need to find the silver somewhere else. There's none in Remington. Is there? Oh shit, I don't know what to find the silver ones. Damn it. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to search all the mining sites. I'll just check this one real quick. No, they're all tin. Blast it. I'm gonna have to check all the um mining sites for silver then. I know the one. I know the one of the East Varrock isn't going to have any. Is there any down here with the King Scorpions? I don't think there is. I'll just double check though. So I know there's gold here. Nah, there's no silver. Unfortunately, which gives me a horrible feeling that silver's even rarer than gold potentially. Alright, so it's not in the mining go. Let's try Rimmington and then I guess we'll have to try that. Maybe that East Ferox site, possibly. Combat bracelets.
A description of a great dwarven miner. Oh boy. Definitely not going to achieve, unless these tiaras bump the level up quite a bit and I can find an efficient patch, I don't think I'm going to make it here either. And I still want to call this Lost City Part 3 because technically I'm still working towards that quest, just in an obscure manner. Oh boy. Alright. We'll search Remington and now I'll have to try the other sites I can think of. There's not that many. There's gotta be one somewhere. I hope it is one in Remington actually. Would be nice. Alright, let's see. Gold, iron, tin, copper. Oh no. Oh, I'll just check. No, that's tin. <laughs> Build inconspicuous rocks. I need a saw and hammer in order to build a stash unit here. Stash unit? Huh. wonder what that is. Well, I'm not going to build it. Okay, so Remington's out. Where else could there be silver? I wonder. Well, it's not underneath the ice dungeon. That's just blue, right, I think. I guess I'll have to check out the... This one, I guess. Maybe the summon... Yeah, that seems like a white, likely place in uh, West Varrock. So, we're going to have to go all the way around to West Varrock. Whee! Lots and lots of running! This lost city had better be one amazing place for all this I'm doing for it. One day, I'm going to be able to run like this length in real life too. I'm gonna work towards... That's what I'm working towards. Lots and lots of walking, eventually running in real life too. So I'm going to the gym. Thankfully the weather's a bit more... Uh, not rainy today, which is nice. Let's hope it stays that way, because it doesn't look very promising for later. And we're about to hit the energy cap. Yep. Oh, we got some coal here. I'll just quickly check if these aren't silver. Yeah, there's tin. Damn it. Yeah, I was annoyed too. I mean, I managed to I managed to get a walk in yesterday, but I walked home from the poker game at like eleven o'clock at night. It was still rainy, but it wasn't terrible. It took me about fifty minutes, fifty fifty five minutes to get to my house. Well, yeah, I tried to go out yesterday. Um, afternoon for a walk and it just rained the whole time which is well disappointing yeah it's just your orchid sunny today do the leaves all right dun, 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 dun. 
Ah, here we are, the West Verrock site. Does this place have any silver? Let's find out. These look a bit brighter than the tin ones, actually. Ah, here we go. Silver! Mining some silver for the first time. Gives less experience than gold. Hmm. Guess we'll find out how long it takes to get this shit up. At least the good thing about this is that I'm very close to the, um... Barok... Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I'm nowhere fucking close. I gotta go all the way back to Lombridge for this shit. Oh, if only I'd bought a bloody saw or something. I could canoe back to Lombridge from here. Oh, you're kidding me. Silver ore also takes ages to respawn as well. Even though it gives less XP. Sacre bleu. Perhaps this gardener might look after your crops for you. Oh god, I'm going to world jump again. Alright then, I guess it's back to world jumping time. This seems to take about the same time as gold does. Someone is here mining some ore. Jumpy jumpy. There's a mugger here as well. Jumps out and attacks people. He won't be attacking me. Ooh, mining 56. Nice. Very nice. One less mining level to get. Four more until I can access the mining guild. Oh, what? Oh, this is where I was earlier. <laughs> That's why it's not respawned yet. Come on. Well, now I know. I knew this silver would come in useful one day. I said as such when I passed it by ages ago. Wait a bit. One more wheel jump should do it. We need to go back to Wombridge. This is the nearest furnace, I think. Well, it's a tie-up between that and Edgeville, but they're about the bloody same. So this is a little less convenient than... Oh wait, what am I saying? It doesn't really, it's about the same actually, because I keep forgetting I do all my furnace work at the furnace too. 
So I'm not just... Uh... Man, this agility shortcut would be really nice. Too bad I'm mean to be level 13 to use it. God, I want to train my agility so bad. There's so many shortcuts I could be taking if I had the agility level for it. I might make... I might make... Yeah, I did say this before, Ryan. I'm going to make agility one of my first focuses. Of a, of, among the members' skills, I think. Because it just seems so useful for, like, a lot of stuff. Hi. I, I, but I am Kroki Doki. And how are you doing this uh, midday? How would you feel about trolling some splashes with a cat? Throwing splashes with a cat. How does that work? Exactly. I do that all the time. Hey, hey, Pink T-Rex, good to see you again. Welcome to crafting. The grind for level 31 so I can do the Lost City quests. Which I swear I'm going to eventually finish someday. Alright, silver bars. Give me the silver. Well, friend, you take your cat to Wombi Castle where the splashes can out and get your cat to kill the rats. Ah, oh, that might be the problem. I don't have a cat. In fact, this is my third day of membership. I didn't even know you could have a cat. I was aware you could have some followers. I didn't know cat, but... Oh. That sounds pretty fun, actually, Crokey Doki. I won't lie, but I don't have a cat. So, might be kind of difficult. I definitely will try that at least once, once I get hold of the cat, though. Shame I can't bring my actual cat, but she's sleeping, so... Some use she is. It's the new meta. <laughs> Troll the splashes with a cat. Do the Gertrude's cat quest. That's the one I need to pick, is it? Gertrude's cat. Hmm. All right. I will get around to it at some point, I'm sure. One quest at a time now. There's so many to do. Let's see, Gertrude's cat. Oh, this one I can do straight away. No requirements required. All right, cool. And perhaps I will uh, do that. Tiara, tiara, tiara. Ooh. Siffle Rod, Dynamic Sigil. Silver Crossbow Bolt. Lightning Rod. Unholy Symbol. It's very easy and short. Alright, well, maybe I'll consider doing that after I finish Wasp City then. In the meantime, I'm going to make a shit ton of tiaras. Yes, 52 experience and lots of tiaras for sticking talismans in later. 24! I can now craft sapphire amulets. I could, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to make tiaras. No, I'll be fine. Thank you, Croaky Doki. I'll be good. I will get around to that possibly after I do Lost City. Oh, demonstration. Oh, right. Okay. Um, I'm currently on World 309. Sorry, I, I sort of misinterpreted what you said there for some reason. Yeah, World 309. But all right, you have my interest. <laughs> 25. Can now make pot lids, date necklaces, and willow birdhouses. Sweet. Alright, so if I do this a few more times, fingers crossed, I will finally hit 31. I can make this staff I've been meaning to make forever. There we go. And 
now. See, I can wear this tiara if I wanted to. Look at my tiara, isn't it awesome? Not really, but I can stick talismans in them somehow. And that's where these tiaras will come in useful, so I can make room crafting a bit easier for myself. I don't know how you do that, but I imagine you probably have good world choice lots of splashers. Alright then, let's see this demonstration. Sorry, I missing Toad. I thought you were going to show me how to do the cat quest, but... Well, you're not wrong. There's splashes. But where be you? <laughs> yeah. What do you think you're doing? Oh no! Hey! So, oh look, a cat! Go on, puss, kill that rat! Eek! <laughs> oh wow! It works! Holy shit! <laughs> oh wow! So there's a way of counting all these splashes! Oh my god, they're gonna be so pissed when they realize- Ah! Oh my god, that's awesome! I have gotta do that myself! <laughs> oh wow! Wait, that guy is- <laughs> awesome! <coughs> oh, that's brilliant! That is genius! There is a way! <laughs> oh, there's no way I'm not gonna do this at some point. Ah, oh, brilliant. Oh, look at that! Ah, splashes be gone! <laughs> and now the world is gonna be stuck. I don't. Oh, this guy may not actually be AFK, but. Everyone else is like, ah, shit! Oh, that is brilliant! Like. There's no way the Splashers could complain about that, because, like, you know... <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Oh, that's so cool. I can't wait to do it myself. Navy Cavalier? What is that? Oh, I've no inventory space. Oh, you can keep that. <laughs> Whatever it is, you can keep it. <laughs> Alright, I need to go and dump these off and... Ah, go in there. Can I stop, please? Ah, ah, ah. It's a mad hat. There! You shouldn't be splashing! You got no fucking argument! Supposed to be studying and yet you're splashing in RuneScape? That's terrible. I am definitely going to do that when I get that cat. <laughs> oh, it's genius. I am so going to do that. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you for showing me that. I am going to use, I'm going to do that. If it's convenient anyway. A lot. Alright, so I need these tiaras and dump them all in here. So I'm gonna chuck stuff on them. Alright. Now let's continue to get the levels. There's a much better method than splashing, I don't know why they do it. Well, it's obviously the AFK thing, right? But isn't splashing against the rules of the game? I just find that pretty hilarious. Someone's probably set it up for like several hours. They come back and they're just stood there. <laughs> That's brilliant. Hey, Dubs, how you doing? I've just been shown a pretty useful... A Navy Cavalier. Oh, thank you for that. 
Yo, that is a pretty cool looking hat. Thanks. This is... That's a nice hat. Godspeed. Well, thank you. I guess I'll wear the hat. <laughs> Thanks for that, uh, croaky dokey. And now I need to get back to the, um... You can do Desert Wizards and it's just as AS Cable, but twice the XP. Yeah. Well, I've just been shown a very effective way of shutting down rat splashes. And I love it so much that, in fact, I think the very next... I've got my very next quest lined up. Because there's no way after doing that I cannot be tempted to join in myself. So thanks for that. I now have another quest to do. But I'll do it after Lost City. Plus it's one of the very few members quests I imagine that has no massive requirements. So what the heck? I get to annoy rat splashes? Sold! I, mean, I can understand why people do the splashing, like, you know, you're making an ult, you didn't want to go for the grind again. But... I don't know, I, I just don't agree with it. If you, if you can't be arsed doing the time to sit there and at least monitor yourself doing the things, and... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's obviously a more complex argument than just don't do it because it breaks the rules because lots of people make ults and stuff, but... Yeah, it's in the game! No, you know what? Screw that. You let people play how you want. If there's an option in the game to allow you to kill rats and annoy splashes, then that's the way it is. And no doubt, JGX put that in the game knowing full well people would be able to do that. And I want to do it too. For fun. Plus, I just like the idea of having a cat as a companion. <laughs> Alright. So, now it's time to do... You think splashes are okay, but you reserve the right to set your cat on Yeah, I mean, ultimately, the, the person's gonna get bored. It just adds an extra wave of challenge to it. It means you can't truly be AFK unless you want to really risk... Um, someone doing that to you. It's pretty brilliant. Anyway. You used to be able to sit AFK using an armor set called Goofins, and you could get 99 attack strength and defense so fast until you get started banning people for it. Wow. I don't know why they don't do the same with splashes. Well, I guess um, splashes have to at least use runes, right? You can't just do it with nothing. You have to have a lot of runes to keep casting the same spell for hours upon end. World switch. But yeah, you do you do think they would perhaps if it was against the rules of their own game, then you'd think they'd do something about it, but maybe they don't mind, you know. I suspect they're not that bothered because those people are. Well, maybe because, like, those people are at least playing the game and they're being really inefficient and they're making oats and whatever. I don't know. It's. It's probably a complex issue, really, like. If you start buying them, how many. I don't know. It's. Well, I'll, I'll just agree with what Koki Doki says and says, like, we reserve the right to unleash cats on them. To annoy those, uh, using rats. <laughs> Force them to be more creative where they hide their secret naughty splashings. 
Well, I guess that's the idea, Dubs. You know, it's not efficient in terms of, like, a rate, but if you just don't want to... But if you want to, like, just walk away for eight hours... Well, I'd never do that because I don't want to make an ult. <laughs> the runes cost almost nothing, but the goof ends at the time cost 10 million. But what was the deal with the Goofan set exactly? Is that like an armor set called Goofan you could get it so fast? Oh, I'm full up on the uh, material. So back to one bridge we go. All in one and one for all. They would heal you for the damage you deal. Heal you for the damage you dealt. Oh, I see. So you would attack a monk with it, I guess. Because monks can heal themselves. And then you just use a really shit weapon or whatever. But hang on, that doesn't make sense either. Because you don't should be able to kill them. Oh, I see. So you just... Oh, right. So you don't attack a particular target. You just kill lots of things. I get you. So you go away and see it heals you for the damage you do. That sounds pretty awesome, actually. I'm guessing that armor doesn't exist anymore. Shame, because I kind of like the idea of that. Health regenerating armor. <laughs> oh, that's a chance to heal you. So they sort of made it from a guaranteed vampiric sort of touch type deal to a, a chance to prevent that. I mean, look at that one guy wasn't AFK too badly, but <laughs> I could imagine some player who thinks they're going to have six hours of AFK. Oh, shit! <laughs> My AFKing has been destroyed! Still exists, but the mechanics are a bit different. I think auto retaliate turns off after five minutes of an activity. I see. So they found a way around it. So perhaps they're, not, perhaps they're just not bothered about the splashes then. At least the ones outside the castle. It's not like any of them tried to hide it. So maybe they're not that bothered. Which applies to splashes too. I mean, if they really could, they could probably change the mechanic and just don't allow splashing to accumulate experience after a certain period of time. But maybe they're not that bothered. People want to spend all that time getting the runes and doing that and getting ults, whatever. It only works for magic. This is very, very tinyly helping my smithing, too. Very slightly. Alright, give me over to yours. Here we go. Watch that level increase. It's getting there. It's getting there. 
26. I can now make oil lanterns and drift nets. Nice. That's it. Come on, can I gain another level before I use up all these bars? I certainly hope so. It's 20 minute for a splasher. Damn it, not quite enough level. That's awkward. <laughs> you can start splashing while at work. You, you, what, you gonna get a paddling pool out? Start splashing? It's still one guy there splashing away. On your phone! You wouldn't technically be AFK. What could, so you could get away with a job of checking your phone at work? <laughs> you gonna just be there like, excuse me for a second, I just need to check my runescape splashing. <laughs> Alright, back to the mine again. For more silver. Yes, you would. I'll be with you in a minute, I just need to go to the Wombridge Bank. What? What kind of bank's that? No, it's a bank in RuneScape. What's RuneScape? It's very important. Go talk to my colleagues instead of me. <laughs> oh, God. Whee! This is why I want my agility shortcuts. I can jump over that bloody fence. I do like this hat. It's a very nice hat. I think you're 97. 97 magic, that's pretty good. I'm only, only 22. I've been skipping on magic. <laughs> You do a Jewish on your phone at work. Alright, silver time. Here we go again. Good old silver mining. I'm starting to get a bit hungry. <laughs> Please wait. Yeah, I've been... You might have said last time about how tedious the agility grind is. Oh, wait, that's a free-to-play area. I shouldn't be going there, really, should I? I 
I'd like to I'd like to focus on agility, but people have said there's a few quests I could do that will make it a bit less tedious to start with. But I'd like to work on some agility for certain. But it is after I've done Gertrude's cat. The main reason for that is that agility apparently will help me with my running speed or stamina or energy or whatever as I go through it. It's the main reason why I want to focus on it. But also, it'll just give me access to so many shortcuts in the game. A few, but it's still so damn tedious that you get so little experience just running around in a ring. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got to sample that at some point. I can't be a true RuneScape player if I've not experienced the... Oh shit, I'm in a free one. Oops. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't be here really. <laughs> I mean, for one thing, I can take a shortcut through one. That's possible she's a canoe, but. I'll not be a true RuneScape player until I've run around in the ring training agility. <laughs> okay, let's set some running music. Actually, I have an idea for that, if I ever get that far. Hmm. Do I have something of a crazy idea if I end up actually becoming a thing you gotta do? Oh, I've hit my agility. Ah, uh, I mean, my inventory space limit, I should say. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Got our 15 agility, and I can catch all these. Weeping fish. Awesome. Do you know about Graceful, John? <laughs> Graceful. Oh, that's not even worth it. I only have... I need to get all my energy back. <coughs> I can't exactly say I'm Graceful, Dobbs. No, not really. Oh, you're referring to an agility reward, basically. Graceful. I see. Agility award. Graceful. I guess that's gear or stuff. You know, I, do, I think someone did mention about a graceful set you could get for agility. When you do rooftop courses, you get marks of grace randomly, very slowly. I 
and over time I'll be able to cash them in. Yeah, I've started. To, I think I'm getting the impression that quite a few things have a currency. There was like the I noticed an area that required you to have kudos. I don't remember where. But yeah, if you get full grades, it's useful for all skilling. So it seems that so oh, there's going to be a lot of different currencies for different things. The golden nuggets for the mining area, the kudos for whatever, marks of grace, etc. So many reputations and currencies I'll be kept busy for years getting them all. Should I wish to get all, which I probably will, honestly. Useful for all skilling, right? Well, I'm definitely going to break an agility then, at some point. I got one or two things I want to do before that, though. At least, for right now, I must get this bloody more city stuff done. Twenty-seven. Ah, good, I can cut emeralds and craft emerald rings. Nice. I might do that when we go to the bank then. Might as well cut the emeralds. Should hopefully gain another level. Weather armor. Maybe I should do that instead. But I think I will. They will be replaced. They will replace the existing weather body. It will be an upgrade for me, therefore. All right, off we go. Let's get to the castle. By the way, does anyone happen to know when Sigil's full release date is yet? Like the actual, I know it comes out this month, but I don't know when. I'd like to know the exact date so I'm not like in the middle of a project when it comes out. Because <laughs> ideally I'd like to play Sigil as soon as it comes out. Like on the same day if possible. So we're going to go away from the world of tiaras and we're going to go back to killing cows again. Thank you for trying to ditch the graceful hat. I'll put it in my cosmetics. Exact day. Okay. Right then, let's go. Let's go kill some more cows and get some hard weather. Just mid mid February. Hmm. Right. That oh, guy's not AFK. Okay, so let's see. Sometime in the next two weeks then, basically. Right. I'll have to not get involved in any big projects then. Which is fine. There are some smaller projects I could play through. Once I've done the Mega Project 2018. 
So now we can craft hard weather armor. Hopefully I can kill a few cows, get some hard weather hides, and that will get me to 31. It costs a bit more, but I imagine it's probably the same one-to-one -one ratio, which would be good. Just hope I don't need anything extra for hard weather over on. Um, it won't actually. Moved you two. I get that prayer level after all. Maybe. Twenty twenty. <laughs> Gotta wait another year for it. It's gonna be manic on the uh, Doom category of Twitch when Sigil comes out. Everyone's gonna play it. I'll probably get a lot more attention from people not immediately in the Doom community either, as I imagine that quite a few other streamers will pick up on the game as well. So maybe for about a week or so, Doom will become semi-popular on Twitch for a bit. Can I wait what will happen when Doom Eternal drops, but on a much larger scale? I'm going to be pre-ordering Doom Eternal as well. And I'll be playing that as soon as it comes out. And those are pretty much the two big releases of this year I'm looking forward to. Unless Talos Principle 2 wants to drop. A game that's been in the works for a while. But we've heard absolutely nothing about. I'm still hoping to hear that announcement that Talos Principle 2 is just going to come out. I would so play a sequel to the Talos Principle. <laughs> he just tried clicking on the stream. Oh god. The stream is that immersive. It's like, I want to click the cows. I want to do it. <laughs> oh, you dubs. <laughs> Choppy choppy. My stream! <laughs> it's mine! Nah, this stream has a, a microphone on it, Dub, so it can't be yours. Wish you wait. You and your no mic runs of mayhem purple. How are they going, by the way? Have you managed to finally figure out the mystery of Mr. Zool's maze? I only do no mic when I'm trying to max maps. Yeah. You're highly focused. Yeah, I don't blame you for that. Don't wait for that at all. I'll check something here, actually. Yeah, okay, the HP does show in the um my web my webcam isn't blocking my HP reveal on the left. So that's fine. And to hide any rage. 
It looks very difficult, though, to get to that last fight. Like, it's playing it from a one death in your end perspective. That map looks pretty mean. You'd have to learn out a lot about it. It looks hard enough to play without um, not save scumming. The cyber in the maze you have to run it by is the most annoying bullshit ever. It certainly does look insane. I wonder if I'll ever have to play it myself one day. There's a lot of mayhems I've missed playing, but I'm not really feeling any urgency to play them. Plenty of other projects to get through. Not least my request list. Alright, we're almost done killing these cows for the fifth or sixth time. So close to getting the next prayer level. So close. You know what? Screw it. Come here. I want to get that next prayer level. I'm just going to take the bones. Oh, wait. I can't take the bones because I need to drop something. God damn it. You'd like to talk to me? Uh, no thank you, I'm busy. I don't have time for mazes, honestly. There we go, level 32 prayer. Get. And we're still combat level 33. Oh, I need, you need six more prayer levels to get there. <laughs> there we are. We don't get anything until 34. That will give us our attack increase. He should teleport you to Mr. Zool's mate. No, that'd be too evil. That's way too evil, Dubs. Go for this gate? Yes, I can. Thanks. <laughs> what bit of RuneScape equivalent of that? You go into a maze and you're attacked by Elvog. Elvog in a cage and it spits dragon breath at you all the time. Alright, so we want to turn all these to hard weather. And there we go. Ta da! Hard weather. A little expense to ourselves. I'm guessing there might be a way you can do that yourself, but not in the free to play realm. Anyway. Alright, so now we, we draw the money and place it with the needle and thread. Okay, let's get some hard weather bodies. Oh, is there anything I can actually make? <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. Summit. More than the regular bodies, so I can sell those. Yeah, there we go. That's all the 
fed and ranged. Don't bore me, bodies in there. In fact, I can make van braces. I don't need the globs either anymore. I can make... I have a superior version. Screw that. Hang on, let me just check something. As a withdrawer's item. Yeah, alright. Right! Uh, what should I do now then? Should I... Let's go sell these items. Is there a general store around here? Oh yeah, there is. Excellent. I'm not exactly sure if this, um, these bodies are actually giving me more experience than the tiaras necessarily, but yeah, I need them. As a replacement for the regular weather bodies, it's a nice upgrade for me. Only three crafting levels away now. Alright, shopkeep, buy all this stuff off me. Yes. Okay, about the price. You can do whatever proud price you want. Done. Didn't give me much for all that. Well, whatever. I don't need weather bodies. I can make hard weather bodies now. My ranged prowess increases. Eventually, I'll be able to make dragon hide bodies, and then I can. Well, that's going to be more difficult, because to make dragon hide bodies, I'm going to need to kill dragons. <laughs> I don't know, and that won't be an easy ask. So some other way of getting green dragon hide bodies, but I don't imagine there's anything else that qualifies as a green dragon. Anyway. Oh no, I want your cows out. Oh, I'm going back in. See? I'm doing you a favor. Doing you a favor, man. Splouched. At some point, I'm also going to have to look into enchanting a ring as well. It's nice to have an amulet of accuracy, but it seems like I could have a ring too. Ow! A bloody cow managed to actually hit me. Cheeky little sub. Other than that,
zoning out here to the music a little bit. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, I would love RuneScape music to be used for some Doom maps. I think it'd be pretty sweet on occasion. I mean, I bet there's a place where you can download all the RuneScape tracks as midis, probably. Well, my do mapping days are well and truly over, so don't ask me. I'm not gonna force anyone. To, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a big campaign about it. I mean, hell, if I ever get, if I ever get back into do mapping, I might do that myself. It wasn't really a question. It's just something I've said quite a bit before. I'd love to see do maps use RuneScape music on occasion. I think it's a, a interesting pull. If I ever get back into Doom mapping, I might do it myself one day. I might make a map based on a, a RuneScape track or an area for fun. I know that that has been done once. At least just once, but you know, with all the um, over reliance sometimes on midis from stuff past, particularly Rise of the Triad, I think it'd be nice if more people tapped into RuneScape on occasion. Tombscape.ward. Well, back to the tanning factory we go. Hey, there's cows in RuneScape and in Doom. You count pinkies, yeah, there is. <laughs> and now I suddenly want to see a graphical modification where uh, the pinkies have like a cow sort of colors all right dude give me some more hard leather thank you
happy. Where the hell is the hard weather going? Oh, it's in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be in here. Passed it. Alright, there we go. Make some more harder for bodies for me. 29! Now I can craft emerald necklaces! Members can now craft jade bracelets. Very nice. Oh right, I forgot to actually uh, chisel the emeralds. That's what I forgot to do. I'll do it after I've done all these up. <laughs> Experience. 30! New information, I can craft emerald bracelets and repair broken cranes. Report Piscarillus. Oh, that is. Oh, I can repair something apparently if I wanted to. There we go. Alright. Very nice. So I've got all. Yep, I got emeralds now. Now I'm all this stuff. Oh shit. Damn. I've got to do something today. All of a sudden. Fuck. Alright, well. <clears throat> fuck, I just realized what time it was. So, that's going to be it for this stream. I am one, I'm only one level away now from getting... Guys, no, I've got to pick up a uh, my antidepressant prescription, dubs. So, I'm going to head off and do that and get my walk in for the day as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm close to crafting. And I have learnt some things. I've learnt what silver's used for. I've learnt how to make leather. So, I've learnt some more crafting things. And so hopefully next... Oh, I've also gained a prayer level, an attack level, whatever. So hopefully next time I will finally, finally finish the Lost City quest by having 31 crafting. And then I can move on to other things. So, thank you all for watching. Catch you all next time for the final part of Lost City.